Hi guys, it's Kira, and you're watching QTV. Everyone, how are you? It's Kira here, and today we're going to be discussing all things event planning as it pertains to finding a perfect venue. Finding a perfect venue means everything if you're one of those party planners who want to determine the outcome of your quality guests, you want to have happy guests, you want to have a happy venue owner, and most of all, you want your reputation to be in good standing. Because why else on earth would you choose some rinky-dinky uh, venue and then have everybody go home and say how it, the, the party was corny, it sucked, it was annoying because the venue was this, the venue was that, the venue was over here, it was this and that. You want to avoid that. So what you want to do to make the party pop is find the perfect venue. Rule number one. Location, location, location is everything. I cannot stress to you anymore how important that is. Having the perfect location means having happy guests. It means that if you live in a city where there is a subway system, the subway system, the trains actually go to that location without them having to take a bus, a train, a boat, a plane, and everything else just to get there. You also want to make sure that if your guests drive, that there's either valet parking or public parking or just parking on the street where it's easily for them to be able to access and be able to use who wants to circle around a block two three four five times you know at any time of the day looking for something when they can just travel and park into a venue at another location have an equally good amount of time and then come out and get in the car and go home who wants to do that and then you also have to think for your guests who drink at the end of the night you don't want them stumbling around looking for a car that they forgot what it looks like because they can't find it because they're drunk you don't want that. You want to be safe. You want to make sure that your uh, venue has a perfect parking and just is easily accessible. It's very, very important. Number two. Rule number two is finding the perfect lighting. Finding the perfect area, neighborhood lighting, means that you want to find a venue that is in the area that is not too dark, not too dismal, doesn't look too cold and scary, and all of the above. It doesn't have to be extreme lighting when you're dealing with nightlife, but for the most part, you want to have some type of lighting so that the women can feel comfortable and they can feel safe in their nice little outfits and their heels or whatever the attire is going to be for the event, and that men don't feel like they always have to be, you know, on edge and looking over their shoulders to see if there's going to be some Something going down you know in that part of town you understand what I'm saying so you always want to make sure that area lighting is very very important for the venue and that um, people can find it because you know I mean who really wants to go to a dark and dismal place and then have to figure out oh my god extremely 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 important rule number three a clean cafe and bar area this is very, very important. You want to ensure that if you're going to be offering food and drinks at your venue, at your event, that the kitchen is clean, the bar is clean, the bartenders are nice, and the chefs are nice. You want to make sure all the people in those areas are nice, groomed well, put together well, and everything. Because after all, what people put in their system it really, 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 really can become a, a tricky situation and you want to make sure that they have a good time, that they enjoy themselves because after all, you are there to induce sales and to create a happy, happy atmosphere and make sure that your guests have a good time. Who wants to have cranky bartenders? Who wants to have bartenders with attitudes? Who wants to deal with chefs throwing the food at you because you decided that you want french fries instead of filet mignon? Who decides that? You want to have these people be on point. You want the kitchen to be very clean. You don't want the chefs going to the restroom and dipping his hand in the, the flower pot to put the uh, chicken or whatever or fish into the pot. You want to make sure that everything is clean, everything is nice, the people are easy to get along with because after all, it has to be a team effort to ensure that the event goes extremely, extremely well. So, rule number four. Finding the perfect budget to fit your venue needs. Finding the perfect budget means everything when it comes to looking for a venue because nine times out of ten, if you're hosting your event outside of your home, you're going to have to pay a little something to someone somewhere to ensure that you have a happy event. So you want to find a budget that fits venues that you can afford. And if there is a time when you have a venue that you have in mind that you're interested in, but your budget does not reflect the uh, price for that venue, do not, do not, do not be scared and afraid to go and approach the owner to ask them if there are other ways that you could actually, you know, either work off uh, the extra cost or find other creative ways to help them advertise their events, market their events, or just do other things 
around the venue so that it would be easier for them to say yes to the budget that you have. You want to make sure that whatever you get, it's, it creates a happy, happy atmosphere and a happy ending. You always, always, always want to create a happy ending in any situation. You understand? So be sure to find your budget stick to it and if you need to go out of bounds a little bit try to negotiate negotiation has never hurt anyone and what's the worst that can happen the owner will say no and then if they say no you just go to the venue that you can afford and you just work the crap out of it and enjoy your night anyway i hope you had a good time with this vi this video i hope i've helped you and i'll see you guys again